EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for the weekend, February 23rd and 24th, 2019. For your Saturday, clouds are increasing today, and we will have some showers that are going to work in uh, generally toward the, during the evening hours. Might come in as early as late afternoon for some southern areas, but it uh, looks like uh, during the course of the evening, we have some showers working the way in. Not really heavy stuff just yet. Uh, once we get a couple hours past midnight going into Sunday morning, I think you have a is your you have a period of about six to eight hours of moderate to heavy rain uh, with embedded heavy rain. Now the total rain in, the, in this event is most likely for most areas. It looks like are going to be somewhere between a half inch and an inch. Uh, most of the models are, are agreeing on right about three quarters, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, something like that for uh, rain totals. But this is uh, initially going to be a warm front as low pressure is going to scoot into the northern Great Lakes. So this is all associated with that. That's what all this is here. This is overrunning rain this time. We had overrunning snow a couple days ago. This is overrunning rain ahead of the ahead of the uh, warm front. But we're not expecting any frozen precipitation except for the very highest elevations could start off as a little bit of freezing rain, light freezing rain and drizzle initially. Okay, so we're going to uh, deal with that here in a second. I'll show you that uh, map as we get it here. Again, just showers that are coming in during the evening and then uh, during the overnight, as the later overnight, you have some steadier rain. Not really too heavy but uh, there could be some embedded heavier cells within that but it looks like mostly just moderate steady rainfall coming in uh, again after midnight into Sunday morning so here's a look at Sunday morning and it's just about uh, pulling away here at this point it looks like we, it looks like it's done by for most areas by mid morning and then behind it look at these isobars now how tight these are this is unbelievable how windy it's going to be up in here these are so close to each other now we're not going to get that close <laughs> over in our area here but you do see some uh wind watches posted by the national weather service and that is because of uh some of this making its way further eastward as we get into uh sunday probably most likely the afternoon and um, it's going to start to pick up as far as windy conditions are concerned. But even windier, I think, is going to be after midnight into Sunday morning. We're going to get really windy. And that's because the uh, isobars, I believe, is at its tightest point. Again, not it's not this tight. But they're going to be relatively tight here. That's going to have, uh, we're going to see wind gusts that are definitely in the 35 to 45 mile per hour range. If not higher in the higher elevations. Could see a few gusts nearing 50 to 50 miles per hour in those higher elevations uh, during that course of time between. Again, it's going to start picking up Sunday afternoon. I think it's mainly, the main show is going to be kind of like midnight, midnight on Sunday night until about noon on Monday. And then we start to uh, lessen the winds a little bit. Still windy, though, uh, during the afternoon. But we're going to lessen them a little bit. So that 12-hour period there, midnight to 12, uh, 12 noon on Monday is looks like a look is looking like a pretty windy time. Uh, before we do that, we're going to go over the name High Rescue Just Simulator Radar. I'm going to start this off at 7 p.m. The reason I'm starting it off at 7 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to start this off at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. This is when the Stadium Series game down here for the NHL game between the Pittsburgh Penguins and Philadelphia Flyers, right where I circled, that is South Philadelphia, and uh, we're expecting a few showers in the vicinity. This is not heavy stuff, though. So this is stuff that they can play through. You might just bring a poncho... You should be okay. Uh, it's not a deluge of rain. Again, this is what I was showing you here about the onset here. Anything that falls into these higher elevations could be initially some light freezing rain or drizzle, and that goes all the way back here in a central PA, all the way down to Bedford County. So it's just these hot, the, uh, the, the higher elevation spots, just up a few light freezing rain showers possible until we work into the overnight. And again, this is just going to be light through the evening. You can see that here, just scattered showers, scattered showers, nothing really going on here. And then all of a sudden, look out here. Uh, this is now 3 o'clock in the morning, though. Okay, so then it moves eastward. Here's 4, 5, 6. You see some heavier rain here. Here's 7 across. Uh, so it might be raining uh, kind of hard early in the morning on Sunday. But here's from 7 to 10. Gone. Most of it's done by mid-morning. Just a few residual isolated showers that will remain behind it. Uh, it's going to remain very mild here on Monday. Temperatures are not going to drop off very quickly. We are going to have uh, temperatures well into the 50s and near 60 degrees in some spots down here by Philadelphia. Near 60 degrees here. Uh, but 50s elsewhere. So we're going to stay mild the entire day. Uh, cloudy or mostly cloudy the entire day. Just a passing shower the rest of the day after that main batch exits by mid-morning it looks like. And then uh, after that the front will come through generally late afternoon in the evening before we start seeing those temperatures drop. So we will have temperatures drop behind this. And then Monday is going to be continued again, continue windy. Here's the morning. 
here's the afternoon. You see the isobars are not quite as uh, close together, so I think we're going to start diminishing in the afternoon as far as those winds are concerned, but mostly sunny here on Monday. No wind to speak of, of any note on Tuesday with high pressure moving in, and it's also mostly sunny. Here's a high pressure. And then uh, once we get to Wednesday, uh, most models are starting to drop this whole idea of this clipper system. There's a little weak system here. Eh, probably not doing anything. Maybe just a dry frontal pass that's coming through with this. There will be some cold air that affects behind this, though. Uh, high pressure is going to move in here on, on uh, Thursday, Friday, which have a dry week for the most part coming up here from uh, you know, the dry work week, I should say. Uh, and then once we get into uh, the following weekend, we might be dealing uh, dealing with something as we get to the latter part of the weekend or some kind of systems here hitting at maybe some uh, wintry weather here coming in uh, in the sun next weekend time frame. Not a little too early to call yet, but uh, there is the potential. So we want to keep con uh, continue to monitor that, and that's getting outside of our seven-day range. Just understand that once we get past this weekend and we dry out Monday through Friday right now, Looks like it's going to be mostly dry. I'm EPA, WA Meteorologist Bobby Martridge. That is your outlook for February 23rd and 24th, 2019. Your weekend outlook. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.